What's up everybody, Spidey Geo9 here. Hope you're having a marvelous day. Today on this video, we're gonna be talking about these PMGs and how I got them graded at Beckett's headquarters in Dallas, Texas with their, well, actually I just walked in and uh, took the cards in and got them graded, which is unusual, especially during the pandemic, especially uh, right now with the way grading services is. But I wanna tell you that story up next. Hey guys, Spidey Geo 9 here. Hope you're having a marvelous day. Hey, just wanted to let you know I'm in Dallas, Texas, actually around the Addison area. And I was able to come to town, come to town for a work event. And we've been having a really good time uh, celebrating uh, being one of the top producers in our company. But the real reason I'm here, or the reason I wanted to be here, is because I'm gonna take my uh, PMGs to BGS Beckett to get them graded. I'm hoping that that will take place tomorrow. Uh, I've been reaching out to someone at Beckett and I've been in communication, but that communication kind of stopped because of nationals. And I know they're working on getting back into town. And I'm sure they're tired, but really hoping that I can get in tomorrow. So <laughs> you're watching the video. That means I already know what happened. Uh, but you'll have to watch the rest of the way through. Uh, but the plan, the plan is to show up, show my cards, and then get them graded through the walkthrough service and hopefully capture as much of that process on camera as possible uh, while at the same time uh, being able to enjoy the experience myself. So uh, with that, uh, let's see how the rest of the trip went. Just to make sure we're all on the same page, I thought I would show you the cards that I brought with me to get graded. So the first one here is not, uh, it's not a PMG, but it begins the rainbow of the Spider-Man PMGs. And we've got the bronze here, which is one out of, I believe, 199. And we've got the red, one out of 99. The blue, one out of 50 or 49. The green, one out of 10. The purple, one out of five. And lastly, the gold, the one of one. This is the big three cards, and I just thought I'd give you a quick overview of what these look like condition-wise. I think they're pretty good, pretty clean. Maybe a little bit of a soft corner there. It's hard to tell. And of course the gold. I'm not gonna lie to you, I'd love to get a pristine for any of these cars, but too. Oh yeah. All right guys, getting in the truck and I'm gonna now head to Beckett, it's about 8.55. They open at nine, so I wasn't able to get there as soon as the doors open. I've had to take care of some family stuff this morning and uh, kind of slowed my roll just a little bit, but, uh, but we are now on the road. Let's see if we can get these PMGs graded. <laughs> All right, so I wasn't sure I was in the right place, but now I am. Uh, because I didn't see the sign. <laughs> but uh, walking up now, super anxious and nervous. So we'll see how this goes, guys. Oh, 
Well, I'm here and everything's closed, so uh, we'll have to try to get on the phone and see if we can get in touch with Aram. Okay, guys, so um, I went up to the door and the doors are very locked, very closed to the public. And so the only, only hope I have now is hoping that my email uh, to the person that I've been speaking with at Beckett gets, uh, gets responded to while I'm here. So I'm gonna give it some time. Um, I don't know how much time, but this, this journey to get these cards graded is now getting pretty interesting because of, uh, of not being able to walk in uh, to get services. So uh, we will see what happens next. All right, so I have dropped off my Spider-Man PMGs at Beckett headquarters. And I decided to leave the cards there because they wanted a thousand dollars to be able to walk the cards through and get them graded the same day. And that's just not a wise decision at all financially and money I don't have on top of that. Uh, but what they did do is they charged me $225 for each card to leave it there to get graded. Uh, but I did have to put them in the mail to come back. But thankfully, uh, they had overnight shipping for $25, so uh, we, we did that. But uh, hey, hold on, I'm gonna help somebody real quick. Hey, I don't have much, but I'm gonna give you what I've got. Oh, thank you. Oh, here's this. God bless you. Look at there. And then, um, you know what? I don't, I don't, that's all I've got. I'm so sorry. Okay, fine. Yes, ma'am. God bless you. Sorry, there was a lady who uh, is homeless and needed some money. So, um, but what I was saying was, is I, you know, left uh, left the cards there, and they're going to overnight them back to me. And they only charge fifty four dollars to be able to overnight those back. So I'm really happy about uh, being able to get them back quickly. Should be back in about a week. So that's that's really quick, especially when you consider turn times. Uh, typically, I don't know what BGS's turn times are if you mail your cards there. But uh, to be able to drop them off, hand deliver them safely, and talk to uh, or, uh, to the BGS guy. I'm going to share more about that later in the video, uh, but just wanted to let you know they're at BGS and they're being graded. And I should have the cards back in a week. So yeah, so finally the cards arrived and I've got them here and uh, going to crack these open. And yeah, these are from Beckett. That is a lot better than uh, PSA in my opinion, because PSA is so tough for me to open those. Let's see here. I'm going to do this. I don't know which cards I'm going to reveal first. So let me pull these out. Hit the camera. Hit the camera. Yeah, let me just go ahead and get all these cards out, because I don't know what order they're in. And you know, there is an order of importance here. In terms of which grades I want to see first, and I can at least see the back, the backs of the cards. Okay, so this one last for sure. Second to last. Mm, this one first, I think. Third to last. And this one. This one, then this one. Okay, so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven cars to look at. Uh, without further ado, let's get started, okay? Evidence of color added. <laughs> All right, so this is fascinating. This is fascinating, guys. <laughs> All right. This here is um, a 2017 Flare of Spider-Man, and uh, color was not added to this card. This is uh, the EPAC um, achievement. And I mean, you can see this is a great looking card and no reason it should not have been graded, but uh, they gave it a blue label, said it was altered. And you know, that cost me $225 to get that. So uh, I already will be, uh, yeah, I'll be, I'll be reaching out to Beckett to, to get that contested for sure. I think it would have had a great grade, really do. 
It's a clean card and one that's important for me to have in my my rainbow here. So that's uh, disappointing. All right. So, well, let's get back here. This is the 22 out of 199 here. This is the bronze. Uh, okay, well, let me go ahead and show the grade. We've got a nine. So we've got nine on centering, nine on corners, nine five on edges, which is pleasing. And then nine on surface. That's interesting, nine on surface. Because I don't know what they would have seen. <clears throat> but I'm pleased with nine. Nine's not bad. Nine's good. Uh, would have looked good, obviously, with a with a gold label. But uh, yeah, nine's good. That's good. All right. So here we have the red PMG. Nine centering, nine edges, eight five on corners, eight on surface. So yeah, that's an eight five. That's a near mint. Um, not terrible. Not terrible. But, uh, yeah, I would have loved a nine. And this being the red PMG, I feel like, you know, I, I'll have more shots at this one uh, to get to upgrade to a better grade. Okay. Uh-oh. <clears throat> Here we have the blue. And we've got 9.5 centering, 8.5 edges, 9 corners, 9.5 surface. We nailed the surface, but the edge got dinged. So we have a nine mint, which is good. Happy about that. But out of 42 out of 49, I don't know. I guess they're calling the back the edge issue to get an eight five on that. Man, if we could have got a nine on that. Um, I don't know. I don't know if that would have got a nine five, but. But yeah, 9595 on centering and surface. And to me, those are really important. Really, really important. So there's our blue. Next one's a big car. This is a big one. This is our green here. And uh, let's reveal these a little more slowly. Nine on center, nine on edges, nine on corners, nine five on surface. So it's nine. I mean, that is a true mint. Not quite a gem mint, but very, very mint for sure. And I'm pleased with that. So we're, uh, we're dominating the nines here, guys. So we've got two more cards. <laughs> the granddaddy there. Let's move this around. All right, the next card is three out of five. Three out of five. We've got a nine on center and edges. A five on corners, nine on surface for a nine. Whew, that's, that's a big grade to get a nine on a one out of five purple PMG. Very happy about that. I'm trying to see, I guess, yeah, this corner down here. That, that kept us from getting a true nine on all four. But <clears throat> still came out a nine mint. Very pleased with that. And I'm, look, I'm liking these uh, Beckett cases here. That looks good. All right, so I know what is on the next card. There's the big one, the gold PMG, beautiful. Beautiful. One of one. One of one. <clears throat> and I just had it authenticated. Uh, not the best looking label ever to go with the gold, but for me, um, with it being a one of one, there was just no reason really to get it graded. You can see the quality of the card here looking at it. It's fantastic. You can see it all the way around. And um, yeah, I don't plan on selling it, so didn't really matter. Yeah, I mean, it would have been nice to have kind of matching uh, here, but uh, yeah, very pleased, very pleased to have this encapsulated and protected now and not sliding around loose <laughs> in a top loader. So 
Guys, this is my rainbow of PMGs. I am, <laughs> I am disappointed about this. That's gotta be rectified by Beckett because they just didn't understand the card. There's no color altering there. And like, how would I ever do that anyways? That's just ridiculous, but uh, we'll get that one done. Hopefully it'll come back at least a nine and I'll get this one upgraded to a nine. And I'm still looking for the gold one of one uh, Spider-Man 2099. And, uh, you know, maybe I'll have a shot at that one soon because I've got a case of that headed my way. And uh, that would be awesome. It would be awesome. So, look, guys, uh, thank you for you know, watching. Thank you for following the channel. And, you know, if you haven't already, like, comment, or subscribe. And I hope you all have a marvelous day. One thing that I realized that didn't come through in the video back when I was at the BGS headquarters and I couldn't get in and the doors were locked came back in my truck and sat down and I decided to call the 1-800 number and the person that answered the phone was able to get me through to the contact that I had at BGS and that's how I got in through the doors and while I was in there there was nothing that was set up for grading and in terms of guests you know just showing up with the walkthrough uh, there was stuff everywhere where you could tell they're using the the uh, kind of uh, reception area for storage. So I ended up hanging out with the person who uh, let me in and helped me fill out the forms and and is also the one who helped me come to the conclusion not to grade uh, the Spider-Man one of one, but to authenticate it. And you know, during that whole thought process, I realized that one day I might want to get this card graded at CGC and I really didn't want to have a grade in the population report at Beckett at BGS whenever I still may transfer uh, this particular gold one of one into a CGC graded slab so I decided that you know because it's a one of one and because I may want to get it re-slabbed that the best thing for me to do was to simply have the card authenticate it because that is also important as well to prove that this is really the gold one of one from the 2017 Flare of Spider-Man set. Uh, but guys and gals, thank you for watching and listening uh, with you know this journey of my cards to get graded and authenticated. And uh, you know, if you like this kind of content, please remember to like the video and comment below and subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Really do appreciate it. It means a lot to me. And I hope you all have a marvelous day.